iPhone 4S came out 10 years ago and today we'll have a look at 10 years of camera evolution and compare it to iPhone 13... You, you got me guys... 13 Pro Max. Let's go! And since we have a little vintage video today, here is a little bit of synthwave music. Are you ready for some nostalgia? Let's start off with the camera specs. It had Sony IMX 145 8MP BSI, main camera sensor with 1080p video up to 30 frames per second, with IR filter, f2.4 aperture and 35mm equivalent focal length, plus face detection and HDR mode for stills, and even image stabilization. Selfie camera had a whopping 0.3MP VGA sensor and 480p video. Also, this model is only 5GB of internal memory and now we can buy 1TB iPhone 13 Pro Max for instance. And look how small that screen is. That's impressive. Feels like a toy to be honest. Also, iPhone 4S had headphone jack and this is the last iPhone with the first generation connector since then we only had the lightning port. In main camera app we only had video, photo, square photo and panorama. No slow motion, no time lapse, no portrait mode and of course no cinematic mode. Now let's have a look at sample photos and video. iPhone 4S is always at the left side of the picture and 13 Pro Max is on the right. I guess you didn't need this information, you'll get it right straight away. I have to admit that in good lighting conditions we could get some decent photos with the iPhone 4S. The selfie cam is a total disappointment, both in terms of color and resolution of course. And a small outside microphone test, one, two, three, mic check. And a small outside microphone test, one, two, three, mic check. One, two, three, mic check. I'm just curious how it sounds because it's 10 years of difference, guys. And to be honest, the mic on 10-year-old phone sounds really good. I'm not comparing ultra-wide and telephoto cameras here with the iPhone 4S, but here is the difference between those. In terms of video quality and stabilization, we also see a dramatic increase in performance. The HDR mode did well on this test shots, but still the computational photography of 13 Pro Max is doing much better. In panorama mode we do gain dynamic range and sharpness improvement. Now let's have a look at low light shots. At the time we didn't have night mode in iPhones. That's why sometimes you'll see slower shutter speeds on iPhone 4S pictures. It's set automatically. And I would say the difference in low light is pretty substantial, especially in video and selfie cam.
extreme low light thanks to night mode also got a lot better. So guys, how did you like this 10 year camera evolution comparison? Please share your thoughts in the comment section below. Also, if you did enjoy this video, smash the like and subscribe buttons as I say in my videos and hit the notifications bell. My name is Oleg Nikitin from Russia with love. Take care guys. Bye.